All right, so here is the longtime middleweight contender, the Italian dream, Marvin Vittori. And I think if you were to ask Marvin, as we did in our fighter meeting on Thursday, how he feels about his UFC body of work overall, he is dissatisfied. He thought he would have been an undisputed champion at this point in time. Of course, he has had the opportunity, as he did in 2021 against Israel Adesanya. But the biggest feather in his cap, other than, I guess, the cardiovascular base, is just the sheer durability. It feels like a human weapon is not going to be able to finish Marvin Vittori, and that's a great source of his confidence here tonight. Marvin Vittori, a picture of focus as he looks to produce one of the biggest wins of his career tonight. to realize a piece of this UFC middleweight championship. He is the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, a guy you tried to bring in to emulate John Jones back in the day. Absolutely. You knew right away when you watched Israel fight that he has an ability to fight in so many different ways. If he's coming to play a part, he's going to play that part better than anyone else you can find. Yeah. It's because of the adaptability. It's his ability to change the way that he's fighting based on his opponent. In the Derek Brunson fight, he did a lot of kneeing because he knew Brunson was going to wrestle him. But in the fight against Kelvin Gastelum was a lot of punches and kicks because the wrestling threat was not so great. You gotta have that if you hope to compete and stay atop your division for a long time. Israel Adesanya, we are set for our main event of the evening. And now our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <clears throat> out a little bit early on. He knows his opponent's gonna come shooting at those legs. More often than not, short sample size in the UFC, but Israel Adesanya's takedown defense has held up. Oh, beautiful head movement, slips there. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Circling away towards the left now. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Oh, beautiful straight right hand there from Israel Adesanya. You know, you worry so much, DC, about the kicking game. Sometimes you forget about those hands on Israel Adesanya. Oh, he scored with that uppercut. You need to we cross the midpoint in round one. 
Nice leg kick. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Nice counter left there. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 37 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Israel, the last style vendor of Sonya. All right, so the clean knockout for Israel Adesanya tonight, the last style bender, not forcing the issue as usual, but it is a pretty thing when he puts somebody away. Well, if you press Israel Adesanya, he will put you to sleep. Once again, he proves why he's one of the best fighters in UFC history.